Anna, you were in Ukraine in November last year. Can you t tell me? Yeah, I, I was there and it was horrible because I was standing in the city center on Derivatovka Street in Odessa and I saw the news that 120 missiles were launched on Ukraine. And you are standing there and you are thinking, what should I do now? Like go to the bomb shelter, go home, try to save my family. What are the next steps? And then a few hours later, you know, you see on the news mm, what infrastructural objects were, were hit by these missiles. And there's no light in the city center. Just imagine you're like in Paris or Berlin or New York, wherever. And just like that, all electricity goes down. And you are standing there just in the moonlight. And you're like, okay, cool, what will, go ne what will be next? You're going home in the dark city, no electricity, and you have no water, no internet, no like telephone connection. So I even couldn't call Pasha and say that I'm fine. I can't imagine what he was feeling here in Dublin. It was crazy, but again, people were trying to be on the positive side. Like really, it was something absolutely different for me. People started to like knock in the door saying, hey friend, I have like electricity. Maybe I will, I will not have it in the next two hours, but let's go there, let's like charge our telephones, have some shower, cook some food. And it continues during the next week. So people were trying to survive. But thanks God, our, our government, they're doing their best. So now things are getting, getting better.